So I've watched I watched the Real Housewives of Potomac Sunday night and Huh. Twitter was kind of it, it was it was a, a lot of people are mixed. But I've been seeing a lot of people coming to Candace Candace's defense and hmm I know that we're all grown or whatever and all this kind of shit. But let me just say this. For me, I think both of them played a part in this. I think both of them are wrong. Monique is wrong for pulling her hair, you know, fighting Candace or whatever. Candace is wrong because she know she knew, oh, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to egg her on. There is a such thing as egging her on. We've seen King and Moore do that. Remember when Portia? Y'all remember when Portia had, um, not Portia. When Kenya had, um, egg Portia on with that megaphone or whatever. And Portia had knocked her ass the fuck out at that reunion at one year. Y'all remember that? It's the same thing to me. There is a such thing as somebody egging you on to where you can't take it. And see, let me say this. Monique and Candace may not have been. Well, they were they were friends, so let, they were cool enough for Monique, for Candace to know her triggers, right? The worst person you can argue with is somebody who you used to be cool with or friends with because they know your triggers and they know exactly what to say to you to get you escalated. And I just feel like Candace was over. Oh, you want to drag me? You want to drag me? Oh, you're going to drag me or whatever? Is it to say she was testing Monique's gangster? And that may be ghetto. It may be whatever, whatever you want to call it. But that's the honest truth. And I don't understand how people are are s putting this on one person's side more than the other. You know what I'm saying? And then what's really pissing me off is all everybody is a, is is attaching this. Oh, black woman, we gotta do better. Then Wendy, I, I I haven't watched. I will say this: I haven't watched all the season. So I can only comment on so much, but I know what I've seen. I've seen bits and bits and clips, and it don't take too much to add up because season after season on this reality show, it's the same bullshit season after season. Let me get this camera straight. It's the same bullshit season after season. So with that being said, I think Um, I did, I have watched Monique's live, and I did watch Candace's live. Well, some of it, because Candace... Candace has this condescending, like, she'll go over here and you say something to her. She, oh, it's not that serious. Or, oh, I got, sh she, she's mad and she's elevated or whatever. She got that Kenya Moore thing going on as to where she'll say something. And then when you retaliate on her ass, you are the bad guy. No. The moral of the story is that Monique and Candace are both wrong in this situation. Is Monique a little more wrong because she hurt? Because she pulled her hair? And let me just say this. I don't know if it's just me, but they definitely made that fight scene to be out way more than what it is because it really wasn't that deep. They made it seem like Candace and Monique dragged, like Monique really dragged her. All she did was really pull her hair from what I saw. She pulled her hair and she wouldn't let her hair go. Like... But this whole we black women got to do better. And why I don't like that is because y'all ain't doing better when y'all ain't confessionals reading. When y'all over here on Twitter reading each other, y'all ain't doing better then. And then Wendy going to talk about, oh, I'm on the front line um, every day. Um, she she should have known better than that, than to hit her like that. Are you serious? That didn't have anything to do with being black. That is a human nature thing as to when people don't deal with stuff and then I finally see you and then we are we're in a group setting and then you finally bring up something. Huh. 
Then you finally bring up so that's a human thing. You finally bring up something and I'm escalated and I haven't dealt with it. Does Monique need to deal with her issues a, a lot better? Absolutely. And I, I watched her video yesterday and she took accountability for that. And I think she said that she was getting some help and she was gone from that. And she realized that she wished that she could go back in time and that she wished she would have handled that situation better. Why are you scratching the couch? What? Come on. Come on. What you doing? Child, this dog. But that don't have nothing to do with being black. Y'all always, what? You see me on this phone. What? You hungry? What? Child, you wait just as good till I get on the phone and then you want to start cutting up. Oh, it's a toy on there. Hold on, child. But y'all gotta miss me with this all this black shit, cause that don't that don't have nothing to do with being black. Nothing to do. Nothing that does that have to do with being black. Like I said, that's a human thing. Everybody gets elevated at some point in time, and they want to talk about oh the law, the law, the law, and y'all kill me. Like I said, back to the the black thing. Y'all kill me with this. Oh, we black people got to do better. But soon as some y'all always in the comments reading somebody going off. If you going to be black, if you want to say we black people got to protect each other, don't make that just about fighting. Make it about everything. So if you want to say let's protect black people, protect black people across the board all together, not just for when it comes to dragging, just everything all together. If y'all, if, if that's the excuse y'all want to use when somebody, when somebody, when things get physical, no, y'all wasn't worried about being black or making how, how, how it makes black people look when y'all reading the confessionals or y'all down here on Twitter throwing shit, especially Candace, cause Candace really be on Twitter popping shit. Candace be on Twitter popping shit. And you know what? Like I said, she got that, that Kenya Moore thing going on. And I don't like that. You want to talk, 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 talk. And when somebody get tired of you talking and they escalate it, in a situation escalate, the first thing she said, oh, that, that hood rat, that ghetto ass behavior. And it's like, girl, really? Really? So it's okay for you to sit up here and talk shit, call her all kind of names. And I, I, I think there's something about, um, Who I really want Monique to pop is Giselle. But they so caught up with Giselle and want to be in this cool girl clip with Giselle, <coughs> which I don't know why. Once they, um, you know what, now that I think about it, they are trying to, Giselle is kind of where Nene was on the Housewives of Atlanta for a long time and where she's no longer not. They wanted to be they want to be in the good graces with Giselle so bad. But as soon I guarantee you, as soon as they, they act like they don't want her. I remember last season Nene was going around and apologizing, doing going on an apology tour and all this kind of shit. Yeah. Cause she's seen that the girls could take or leave her. That's what y'all need to do. Y'all need to show Giselle that y'all don't need her. Stop kissing her ass. Especially that damn Robin. Ugh. Robin is all right when she's not around Giselle. But this Monique and Candace situation, I wish some of y'all could see things from both sides. Because a lot of y'all is so one-sided. Y'all can't see things, how it escalated. And it's like, oh, she did this, but she, should, she shouldn't have hit her. And we're so above that. Are we? Is she? There are certain, there is certain stuff that you can't say to people like, oh, you want to drag me? Oh, you want to drag me? As if to say Monique is a, is, is pussy, you know what I'm saying? Testing her gangster. So, if you, if you're going to say Monique is wrong for hitting her, can we not say that Candace is wrong for egging her on and saying what, what you know, you know how that is. Oh, what you going to do? What you going to do? And then Monique said, oh, okay, bitch, you want to play with me? You want to go on the battlefield and play with me? I don't think so. You're not finna test me on TV. 
And that, that, yeah. Um, I was about to say Monique. The, the Giselle and Robin really going against Monique like that has really made me, like I said, I'm not on either one of their sides, but it's made me side with Mo. It's, well, I guess I shouldn't say side, but it's made me favor Monique a little bit more because <coughs> I ain't got COVID, y'all. My throat dry. No Rona. Um, Giselle and Robin quickly turned on Monique so quick after that situation. And then they just acting like Candace didn't do nothing at all. Like, oh my gosh, she hit somebody. We're black. We're not supposed to do that. So, and Giselle, you really killed me because what you teaching black women you talking about oh, and then when Wendy was talking about a black man, you gonna point at her. So y'all, so you protecting black women, Giselle? You the face of black, of strong black women now? But you going back? My throat trying to embarrass me on this video. You the face of black women, Giselle? But you going back to your cheating ass, scamming ass ex husband? D would you want your daughters to do that? You would. Oh, this shit trying to embarrass me. You wouldn't want your daughters to do that. I bet if your daughters was in it. See, that's what kills me. And, and, and if Giselle, you is happy with Jamal Bryant, that's another thing. But your daddy read the hell out of him at the end of that damn scene. He lied to your face and then went behind talking about he got six or seven children and six or seven baby mamas. You wouldn't want your daughters to go through what you went through with Jamal Bryant. And you wouldn't tell them to go back to him now don't get me wrong i'm all about um this is what i know this is somebody who i used to be with maybe he's changed i don't know i'm just saying but <clears throat> y'all cannot jump on these black women gotta do better scenes when it's when it's comfortable for y'all when it's popular to jump on these oh we gotta do better and oh we gotta be better as black women no like i said if you're gonna do better as a black woman do better as a black woman all across the board not just one thing you trying to be in my video not just across one thing um yeah so i'm not siding with nobody in this candace or monique situation I think they're both wrong. I think they're both wrong. Like I said, is Monique maybe a little a little more wrong? I don't know, depending on how you look at the situation. Like I said, certain people have certain triggers, and that was a time. Monique was like, oh, yeah, that was my trigger at that point in time. You know, talking about you want to talk about dragging me, dragging me. And I'm glad that Monique is like, bitch, yeah, I dragged you, and I that was wrong of me to do, but... I'm not finna sit in here and wallop in it and make myself feel bad for snatching this bitch wig. Like I said, the situation has really been escalated because it really wasn't that deep of a scene. Really, y'all making it more than what it really needs to be. Maybe we haven't Maybe we haven't seen a fight in a while on reality TV, but it really wasn't that deep. It really was not that big of a fight scene. So I don't know why. And oh my God, oh my God, reality TV. Was, I mean, uh, Twitter was up in a frenzy Sunday night about this little um, hair pool scene. It really was not that deep to me. I don't know. I want her to slap the shit out of Giselle. And I think maybe, maybe, I, I, I don't know. Maybe we wouldn't be so upset if it was Giselle. Because Giselle, somebody need to get... Giselle, for real. Somebody need to get her because she loves. And then, I don't know if y'all seen it, but didn't she not push Monique on the shoulder? And then, Monique said in the video, I thought that was Candace pushing me. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, that's my take on it. So, yeah. I'm not team Monique or Candace, but I will say if Candace is going to play this defenseless situation 
and she not going to own up to what she did, I'm team Monique. Cause you can't, you can't, you can't write a check. Your ass can't cash. You can't. You just can't. And that's the moral of the story. I'm 15 minutes in. Let me get out of here and upload this video. Oh my eye crusted, y'all.